Yes. But a new report has been published this very morning mm -hmm. uh, in which they've basically exonerated uh, the dame. Yeah, Dame Alison Rose, uh, the uh, former... Uh, Chief Executive of Coots, uh, the exclusive top people's bank. We know what she did. Uh, she had to step down because she uh, revealed details, private financial details of uh, Nigel Farage's accounts to the BBC's economics editor. Uh, that's unethical. And uh, yesterday, uh, the Information Commission also announced that was actually against data law. Yeah. She broke the law. Uh, but they said there'll be no further action because she's already paid a heavy price. In other words, she's lost her job. And the poor heavy thing... Heavy price. Poor thing. Yeah. Passed me the word world's smallest violin. She, she only walked away with a mere 11.3 million pounds. Now, right. uh, we find out that uh, an, inter a, a, an external internal review has uh, ex uh, exonerated her yet again to say that when she sat down with a BBC right. journalist and illegally revealed details of Nigel Farage's personal finances, it was an honest mistake. I mean, how did they get to this place? It's outrageous. Right? I mean, Nigel Farage has issued his own statement this morning and said it's an absolute whitewash, and he's quite right, totally agree with him, because in no other world could you take the chief of a banking organisation uh, who must surely know that the first duty of anybody who works for that bank is not to reveal uh, the intimate details don't or any that. details of any customer's financial arrangements, right? You just don't do it. Um, as people are starting to say to me this morning, well, is there anybody else working in inside NatWest who doesn't know that you're not allowed to, to give secrets away. I mean, how is it an honest mistake to deliberately leak a story to a BBC journalist? Yeah, and by the way, when she leaked that story uh, to the BBC journalist, uh, she lied. Yeah. She lied. She said all this nonsense about uh, Nigel Farage's accounts being cancelled uh, because of his political opinions. That's not true, she said. Uh, it's because, and this is when she revealed his own personal financial details, she said the reason we're getting rid of him is she, he hasn't got enough money. Right. Uh, and she implied that you need to be a millionaire to bank at Coots. That's not true. Yes. Uh, but more to the point, it was not true. It was a lie that Nigel Farage was getting cancelled by Coots because of his political, uh, because of his lack of money. He was cancelled by Coots, as was subsequently subsequently proved uh, because of his political opinions. So she lied, she broke the law, and uh, they're saying, oh, well, she made an honest mistake. She made a mistake, all right, but it wasn't honest. Yeah, and I don't think, even think she made a mistake. I think she knew exactly what exactly. she was doing. She did it for well, a she very made a specific mistake in reason. The big picture. Yes, no, absolutely right. Yeah. But Nigel Farage is basically saying that Travis Smith uh, did not find any evidence uh, that my pro-Brexit stance were factors in the exit decision. But he also points out that Travers uh, Smith, and one of the people involved in doing this investigation, uh, is a very well-known Remainer, uh, a man who called uh, Brexiteers racist and thick at one point, and xenophobic. So, I mean, once again, the whole world is broken up into people who hate Brexiteers and the rest of them, the yeah. Remainers who will never let it go. And let me tell you, you know, this is the British establishment at work, looking after one of their own. The British establishment used to be right-leaning. Now the British establishment are Guardian readers and they work for the BBC. They're all left-leaning. Yeah. And uh, she clearly is left-leaning, you know, with all her values. Well, don't forget, she was brought in yeah. to, inc yeah. to, in to yeah. inc increase the diversity and inclusion at yeah, that exactly. West, not to actually of, do any banking business. A lot of and the only thing she'll yeah. be remembered for, apart from kiboshing the entire bank's uh, popularity yeah. and credibility, yeah. uh, is that she put a load of yeah. uh, sustainable carpets yeah. into all the NatWest yeah. branches while she was chief of it. So, so she's in a position where, if she was a right-wing Brexiteer, let me tell you, she'd be behind bars by now. Oh, yeah. Uh, but because she's, you know, woke and left-wing and uh, a Remainer, uh, the British establishment has gathered around mm. her and is letting her off the hook. Yes. Uh, she made an honest mistake. We're not going to pursue this anymore. You know, as I say, if it was Nigel Farage, they'd pursue it until he was behind bars. This is a disgrace. It really absolute is. absolute disgrace. My understanding... And also, let's not forget, this is a banking group that is still 38% owned by the taxpayer, right? So we are more than a third owners of this particular company. Yeah. I think we should have a say in precisely how much this woman gets. Yeah. You know, obviously, there are, there are legal situations whereby uh, she will be paid off to the to the end of the contract since she resigned or something. But, you know, there's no reason why she should get bonuses. There's no reason why she should keep the share option deal. There is absolutely no reason why she should walk away with all that money. Yeah, she, she broke the law. Uh, she revealed financial details of a client uh, to the BBC. Yeah. And she lied. Yeah. And... Uh, for that, she's walking away with a, uh, a goodbye package worth 11.3 yeah. 
three and as we million said, pounds. And as that we, is that is a scandal. It is a scandal, and it's a scandal that we should care about because we, as I say, are more than the money. third owner of that organisation. And just to, 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 to completely cap the story off, as we pointed out yesterday, she's also uh, guilty of uh, breaking data protection law. Well, she's broken now, the law. Now, that is a serious uh, matter, one would have thought. But she's been let off. Yeah, but it's incredible. Absolutely unbelievable.